Hi, I'm Jason Huntsma, guitar instructor for WorshipArtistry.com. In this YouTube lesson, we're going to be going over the chorus riff for the song Death Was Arrested by North Point Music. If you want the full lesson for the acoustic, electric, bass, keyboard, and drums, I highly recommend hitting that W in the lower right-hand corner and going to WorshipArtistry.com where you can get the full lesson, as well as solo chapters, tone chapters, all kinds of things. So I highly recommend going there, but if you just want to stay on YouTube, let's dive in. Now for chorus one, we just kind of played through, just did some light strumming on the just the main chords. But once we get to chorus two and then the follow-up chorus, we're going into this moving octave part. Now, once again, I mentioned in the verse, it's really nice because we leave off in this position, which sets us up to come up to our 12th fret of the B with our pointer finger, and our, or sorry, with our pinky and our pointer finger on the D. So I'll play for you what we're gonna do, and then we'll talk through it. Two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> do a similar thing through that we'll kind of talk about the adjustments but all you're doing is keeping a constant just one and two and three and four and five and six and one and two and three and four and five and six and we're just keeping that constant we want to make sure that we're holding the same shape with our fingers so your pinky is on that B string pointer finger is on the D on the ninth fret there we're muting the G string and when you play it slow sometimes that creates a little bit of a harmonic but once you're playing in the context of the band, that really disappears. But you're muting that G, you want your pinky to be muting the E string, and then you want your pointer finger also muting your A. It just gives you some grace, and then you just have to try not to hit that low E. And I'm gonna talk in reference to our pinky, because that's kind of, we start on that ninth fret, so I think it's the easiest way to just kind of follow that. But it's that same shape, and we're just going from 12, all the way up to 17, then back to 16. Three, four, five, six. Same idea, back to 12, two, three, up to all the way up to 19, and then drop to 14. So let's do that again. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. Four, five, six, back to 14. Two, three, four, five, six. Then we drop to 12 again and we kind of combine those. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we land. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. And then for the transition, we come up to that 16th fret. Four, five, six. Now we repeat that part almost identically, except there's a slight difference. We're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, two, three, four, five, six, six, one, two, three, four. We just kind of slide on that change right there. One, two, three, four, five, and six, and. So just five and six, and on that D and the B, just going up to that uh, 16th fret with your pinky. Two, three, four, five, and six, and. And then you're back to the same. Three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we slide up to the 16th fret. And then resolve on the 12 to go into that next kind of quiet section. So I've got a loop, tabs of that down below. Go ahead and give that a shot. And then let's look at verse three. <laughs> 